Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, one of the things that a lot of people have a hard time with is the phone link um, app on Windows 10 and Windows 11. This is on Windows 10. And of course, one of the biggest problems with the uh, phone link is that it's fun to use. It's a great app, but it has its limits depending on what type of Android phone you have. So, of course, because of a partnership, there is a partnership with Samsung. So if you have a Samsung Galaxy phone, a pretty recent one, the Phone Link app is going to give you pretty much all the features that you want. You can even make calls through your computer um, without having, you know, to... Um, without having to get your phone, basically. If you have a, a microphone and everything, your phone is ringing in another room, you can answer from your PC, actually. And so it works great, but it works great with only specific phones. On other types of phones, if you have, you know, Motorola, whatever phone you have that's an Android phone, um, it will have some features that will work. There are things that still will synchronize. Uh, what you need to do is, of course, have the link to phone app from Microsoft installed on your phone. Once that is done, there's going to be a QR code on the screen that you're going to have to scan with it. This is going to pair your computer and your phone together. So it is great for that, and it does have a good, um, you know, a good way of sharing pictures. And, you know, if you take pictures, you do stuff, you want to share something, you can take, you know, the picture, you can actually save the picture. You can even manage from your uh, own uh, phone and from your PC, you can even delete things from or you can save as if you want to keep a picture. It's a great and very easy way to actually save pictures and share pictures to your PC from your phone. But also, of course, you have all the other options of messages, text messages, you can answer text messages. The apps, you can go to your apps and even run some of the apps through your computer and, of course, make calls if you want. Some of these features will require you to actually activate Bluetooth, but uh, depending on the, uh, the phone that you have, it's kind of interesting. And you have, of course, on the upper left, all the status of your phone, the battery, and if it's connected and what type of phone you have. Now... Um, like I said, depending on the phone you have, features are not all available outside of the Samsung Galaxy phones. And if you have an iPhone, unfortunately, this app doesn't do much because uh, Apple really, um, you know, locks down iPhones. So uh, the app cannot really do what it needs to do. Uh, if it's really a question of the iPhone being locked down, that more than anything else. Uh, that prevents the app from actually doing anything because they would have uh, probably done the phone link app that would do the same features on iPhones also. But it's great to check it out and it's fun to try. Um, I think that if, especially if you have a Samsung Galaxy phone, you should definitely look at it and pair your phone to have access to all of the features. I don't know how many times I've used this to take pictures of something, then you know, go and take them and you know, save them on my computer uh, rather than you know like you know sending it through email or whatever if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching